All right, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through broad match keywords. Should you use them for service-based businesses? My answer, generally no. Uh, there are certain times we could use them. I'm going to go over that in the video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add them to your actual campaign if you choose to do so, and generally what a broad match keyword is. So let's go over to broad match definition. What is a broad match keyword? A broad match keyword is a match type that allows your ad to show on searches that are related to the meaning of your keyword. Now. This may sound simple. So anything that is related to a certain keyword, so say you type in HVAC repair near me, it can essentially pop up for your ad can pop up for. Um, that being said, this is not always a good thing, especially in service-based businesses, because HVAC repair near me, a keyword similar to that could be HVAC uh, near me, tips and tricks, uh, DIY, uh, companies looking to hire, all after this keyword, and your ad is going to pop up for that and you're going to waste a lot of money. Now that being said, this could also be very similar to phrase match, but at a lesser extent. That's why we generally prefer phrase match over broad match. But broad match, keep in mind, is really going to target anything. So as you can see here, here's a good example. Low carb diet plan. Your ads can show up for carb free foods, low carb diets, low calorie recipes, uh, diet books, low carb whatever this word is it can pop up for literally anything so you have to be super super careful when using broad match if you are not it is going to burn money i have seen so many accounts do this and literally kill their accounts just because they chose to use broad match instead of phrase match or exact match now where can broad match be used successfully broad match can be used very successfully for e-commerce campaigns uh, it is probably the best strategy long term for an e-commerce campaign that is out there at the current moment and this is because in e-commerce a sale is a sale uh, when you're looking for actual leads a lead is not necessarily a lead and google really has a tough time uh, figuring that context out because the person calling you from the keyword pool installation near me is a lot different than the person calling you from pool installation companies for hire or looking to hire very different context there one is going to probably make you money the other one's going to lose your money almost guaranteed now when it comes to e-commerce a sale is a sale it doesn't really matter what keyword makes a sale you're making the exact same amount of money off every single purchase so google can optimize for these really weird keywords and do a fantastic job that being said when it comes to e-commerce uh, it, you have to generally spend a lot of money up front to give Google the data necessary to optimize and you can burn a lot of money up front, but generally you make that money back in the long run with this. Now, another thing broad match could be used for that we've used it a few times for is finding keywords that, you know, maybe certain accounts, you just can't find keywords and you need search terms that are relevant to your account so you can optimize later on. We've used broad match maybe for the first week of the campaign, maybe even for the first couple of dates, just to find keywords out there that we could go after, and then we get rid of the broad match altogether once we find those keywords. Other than that, I really don't think broad match has much of a, a usefulness inside um, service-based businesses, especially if you're running to dedicated landing pages. It really just doesn't do well inside the account, and it burns a lot of money. But that being said, let's get over to our Google Ads account. If we want to add it, what does it look like? Um, we're going to come over here to whatever campaign we want to add it in. We're going to hit pull installation. We're going to come down to our actual ad group level because this is where you add your keywords in at. So for this one, we're going to hit fiberglass pools. We're going to come over here to keywords. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of phrase match already in here. Now, when we add this, we're going to, let's say, fiberglass pools. Uh, actually fiberglass pool installation and then we're just gonna leave it blank we're not gonna put brackets around it we're not gonna put uh, parentheses around it if we were just to hit save now this would add as a broad match and it would target literally anything related to fiberglass pool installation and when I say literally anything it is very close to literally anything so you need to be careful with this uh, that being said, if you really need search for uh, keywords uh, and you can't find any in the keyword plan or you can't find any in, you know, even a third party site like uh, SEMrush or even, you know, grabbing data from other accounts, uh, I think broad match could still be useful. I prefer doing it with phrase match just because, you know, it is a lot more limited and it's not going to burn as much money. But that being said, broad match could be used uh, theoretically, uh, but please use it with a giant grain of salt. Don't uh, default to this. So if we were to add this, uh, we just hit save, and now our keyword is actually in our account. 
as you can see here, broad match, fiberglass pool insulation. If we were to change one of these, uh, you can also come over here, hit broad match, uh, and uh, that is another way to also change a, um, keywords already in the account, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to rewrite everything out and you can just um, easily switch the match type, which is nice. So that's broad match in a nutshell. I tend to stay away from broad match like the plague. Please don't use this if you're using a service-based campaign. Uh, there's just much better options. Use phrase match, use exact match. They get much better results and you're not gonna burn a whole bunch of money. If you're in e-commerce, yeah, use broad match. Uh, those are generally the best, that's generally the best way to go about it. Uh, but for service-based businesses, generating leads through landing pages, don't use it. It's generally a giant uh, waste of money. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section below the video. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.